Today, Aija Shani Lively from Standard 7th A is going to present a project. The name of my project is Purification of Water. Purification of Water is a process of removing any impurities and undesirable chemicals and contaminates from the water. Now, I am going to explain the purification of water. Purification of water is very important. First, we have taken a bottle and kept it upside down. Then we have taken cotton because cotton absorbs dust particles. And then we have taken sand because sand filter out fine impurities. Then we have taken charcoal because charcoal removes contaminates and impurities by absorption. Pebbles are taken because pebbles filter out sediment. Now I'm go I'm going to put some distillated water in the water is on the way. In this way, purification of water is done. Thank you. Good morning to one and all. Today, I practically Mate from 7B is going to present a project on TRS, Hydraulic Traffic Reduce System. We know that India is having second largest population in the world. As we know that Indian traffic problems has been increased. Because of this traffic problem, emergency services like ambulances and fire engines should not reach on time. Hence, my project is actually a life-saving one. It is a project to reduce traffic by using a footpath with hydraulics as an extra length. The hydraulic system works on the principle of the partial law, which says that the pressure is an enclosed fluid is uniform in all direction. We can allow the vertical movement of the footpath so that vehicles can easily crawl on it and clear that way. Thank you. Good afternoon, one and all. We, the students of class 6C, are going to present science project on organic farming. What is organic farming? Organic farming is a type of farming in which animal manures and biological pesticides are used. It refers to the traditional and healthy method of farming. Sir Alfred Howard introduced organic farming in India. This type of farming can be done without the help of chemical fertilizers and pesticides. It also reduces soil erosion and environmental pollution. It also makes use of renewable resources. Organic foods are cheaper as compared to conventional farming foods. It also maintains biodiversity and ecological balance. It, the manuals of organic farming are easily transportable, cheap, non harmful and powerful. What organic farming does? Protect the environment, minimize soil degradation. Organic farming decreases pollution, optimizes biological productivity and promotes a sound state of health. It maintains long-term soil fertility. Organic farming maintain biological diversity within the system. It recycles materials and resources. Organic farming promotes the health of livestock. Thank you. Good morning everyone. Today, we students of 8B are going to tell the effects of global warming of Earth. In this model, we can see the melting of glacier because of global warming as greenhouse gases emission mark blanket the earth, they trap the sun heat, this lead to global warming and climate change. The world is now warming faster. Global warming is caused by human activities like burning of fossil fuels, deforestation, intensive agriculture and livestock farming are the causes of the increase. It's a long term increase in temperature average of the planet. This damages the natural balance and increases the average uh, temperature of the earth. Everyone can help limit climate change from the way we travel to the electricity we use and the food we eat. We can make a difference. Start with these actions to tackle the climate crisis. Most of our electricity and heat are powered by oil, coal and gas. Useless energy and wash your laundry with cold water and hang your things to dry instead of using a dryer. 
these are some preventive measures to help prevent global warming thank you good morning we are the students of standard 9 are here to present our project and our project name is plastoscope actually it is microscope but we had made certain changes and made it with plastic as you all know schools in rural areas cannot afford microscope because it is very expensive but this plastoscope is very cheap anybody can buy it and also make it in his home by using few waste materials and now my friend vinin will tell you the structure of plastoscope we have made this by using two plastic bottles of this size we have used the upper side of these two bottles we have used a newspaper and painted it black and stuck it inside these bottles as shown in this bottle we have used a eyepiece and a objective lens in the plastoscope now i will explain you how we had made the lower structure of this plastoscope we have used a tripod stand a bulb a battery and a on off switch now my friend girish will explain the advantages of plastoscope plastoscope is alternative to microscope there are many benefits of plastoscope first of all plastoscope is economically cheap microscope is delicate and there is a fear of breaking but plastoscope is made out of creativeness and waste materials it can be used in darkness and photos of the microbes or microorganisms can be taken directly by keeping the focus of the camera on the eye piece of the plastoscope it can be main feature is that it can be reached to the students in this remote area and villages now i will show you how we can see the pra microbes practically this is what we can see in the slide below the objective lens that was the structure and advantages of plastoscope thank you Shit. 